It's time for the greatest spectacle in sports entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania. If you've somehow been off the grid for the past 24 hours and you missed the news that we have a huge last minute change to tonight's event. After being ambushed at the conclusion of their Hall of Fame speech, Red and Trey will seek revenge against Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. And saying that the stakes are high feels like a severe understatement. If Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can defeat Red and Trey, they will take their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. And we've never seen anything like this before, and it's highly improbable we ever will again. With respect to every competitor who enters the ring tonight and every championship that's contested, it's now time for the most important match of the evening. Red and Trey are here to take on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe with their Hall of Fame spots on the line. It's truly impressive Red and Trey overcame both physical and emotional trauma to be here tonight. But I suppose revenge can motivate someone to do just about anything, including putting everything they've dreamed of and worked for at risk. Uh, guys, what are these pieces of paper falling down from above? I believe it's supposed to symbolize their new list, and there's only one thing on it. Beat Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. This is why I left the two seats. It's time to move on. I'm glad you're here. I think that might have been Trey's adopted parents sitting at ringside. I think you're right, Myron. And now here are the two superstars who want nothing more than to take everything from Red and Trey to essentially erase their legacies in a single night. It's the so-called American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. Yeah, these two have a much different kind of bond than Red and Trey. It's an affiliation based on shared hatred for their opponents tonight, dating back years in both cases. Full disclosure, I think we're looking at the newest members of the WWE Hall of Fame class. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical standpoint since the moment they joined forces. Red and Trey would have a hard time stopping them if they were at full strength, and we know they're not even close to that. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's going to make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. WrestleMania is often called the showcase of the immortals. The Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their immortality. They're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other after Brooklyn Von Braun destroyed their original career-defining list and nearly did the same thing to their friendship just proves their bond is unbreakable. They truly are a package deal. 
while I agree with you on that, you have to consider what I said earlier. There's no way Red and Trey are 100 or even 50% after the brutal attack just two nights ago. Mark my words. That will be a factor at some... Uh, look out! Boom, He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. God, that's got to hurt. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. What's he got in mind? DDT! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Look at the agility. In the corner now! Oh, what an enziguri right in the ear. Here we go. Ooh, skull rattling. Wow, what agility. And no work against Joe there. Uh-uh. Trey escapes the Yuranagi. And now he's got Samoa Joe in the Coquina Clutch. Red takes Brooklyn down. Hold on. Is this actually happening? It is. Red and Trey of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe locked in their own submission hold. After everything that's happened among these four adversaries, this feels like the perfect ending. Don't get ahead of yourself. They need to actually finish them off. Can Red and Trey do the unthinkable? Will Brooklyn and Samoa Joe give up? They tapped. It's over. Red and Trey have pulled off the impossible and ensured that they will forever be honored in the WWE Hall of Fame. This match takes place 20 times, and on 19 of those occasions, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe get the win, but not tonight. This was special. This was your night, Red and Trey. Congratulations for the second time on your Hall of Fame induction. This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. Some maintenance guy from the arena was selling it online. It wasn't cheap. Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh, my gosh. I thought I lost you. But you're back. There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. <laughs> it appears that the list has somehow been salvaged. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off two nights ago. Tonight, we witnessed the unexpected. An unexpected victory. An unexpected reconciliation. And finally, the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. But it was more than that to Red and Trey. It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that list that this was their destiny. Well said, Michael. Soak every bit of this in. Red and Trey, you deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winners of tonight's match and still members of the WWE Hall of Fame, Red and Trey.